episode 37. Hello everyone and welcome to Volkman Shopper podcast. My name is Magdalena and this is my little kitty co-host, Domara. Yeah. Oh no, sometimes he's jumpy. I will put him back on the shelf. So this is episode 37. We have a Monday. Uh, October 24th of 2016 and this is a knitting, spinning and hand dyeing yarn podcast in Adlisville in Switzerland and I come from Poland but I live here. So if you're a um, returning viewer thank you so much for coming back. If you're a new viewer I hope you will enjoy and that you will come again. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Ravelry and Instagram under my, under my full name, uh, which is Magdalena Wolf with double F. And um, my show notes are usually here in the down bar. Uh, and the helpful links you can find in, in the video description here on YouTube. And if you enjoy my show, please subscribe to my channel because this way you won't miss any updates. So yay! Uh, I wanted to announce, because I forgot last week, <laughs> that we have a brand new and shiny homepage. And uh, by we, I mean me, but as Wolf and Schaffer, um, my hand dyed yarns page and it's uh, I still have my shop on Etsy but uh, the page that I made is um, it holds information or on all my yarn bases and all my regular colorways because on Etsy you don't uh, you can't always see all of my colorways and bases so there on that new page you can just browse through it and for example if you if you would like some custom orders you would know what I can offer <laughs> and yes yeah, so the address is www.wolfenschaffe.com and what else I forgot also to mention last week that we are having an, uh, a giveaway on Instagram so if you are an Instagram user, you can win this skein of yarn. Ta -da! So uh, yes, uh, what you have to do is to go to my profile on Instagram, find uh, the post about the giveaway and follow me on Instagram, like the picture and uh, in, uh, leave a comment in which you say which uh, Wolfenschaffer colorway is your favorite and for that you can use uh, my brand new shiny page and I will uh, close the giveaway uh, at October 30th first and then randomly generate a number of the post and you might win um, this skein of fingering weight um, Marina, Marina and Silk blend it's my moon base and the colorway is All Saints Day so it's very seasonal because All Saints Day is November the 1st so that's why uh, the giveaway is till the end of October and I like it a lot so, and I hope that the person who wins will also like it. So, and it's so soft. Uh, yes, so this is our giveaway. And we can finally start with knitting. So, I have a finished object to show you. Ta -da! Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, it's uh, long, so I can't fit it in the screen. <laughs> But you get the idea. So this is an uh, ardent shawl. Well, in my case, it's more a shawlette, let's say, because it's smaller. Uh, by Janina Kallio. 
and uh, why is it smaller? I suppose because I used um, yarn that is thinner than fingering weight, so so it's smaller, but I don't mind because honestly, it's a very comfortable to wear it, and it's and it's extremely soft. It's Falkland uh, wool that I uh, spun. It's a two-ply yarn that I spun from Porpoise Fur, uh, as I said, Falkland, in her Kelly Duane colorway. So I'm so proud of myself that I actually uh, finished the whole project from my own handspun. And it's so pretty! It's pretty! So yay! I used uh, 3.5 millimeter needles, which is US size 4. I always <laughs> have my doubts whether I say, say correctly, but I think it is US size 4. Mm. And it was a really easy knit. So I recommend it to newbie uh, knitters if you would like to have something pretty but you don't feel very uh, confident yet with lace and such, this is a project for you. And it has like, it has eyelets, <laughs> but it's a really, it's a really uh, easy pattern. So yay, it's finished! works in progress in my <laughs> Molly Klein design unicorn bag I have a Cafe Ole Tam by Catherine C and I honestly I did not make much progress you can see my progress keeper here and as you can see I started, I finished the uh, ribbing on the brim and, and yeah, and I knitted a few repeats of, sorry, my, <laughs> my row uh, counters are making noise. So I made some repeats. I don't know if I can show this properly to you, maybe, maybe here. Oh, something like this. It's lacy. And it looks fancy, but to be honest, it's an easy pattern. And what is also cool about it, it's a free pattern. So if you're looking uh, for, uh, for a nice pattern for a beret or, well, it's called tam, but you know, what it's <laughs> this shape and uh, yeah. It's a very clear and nice pattern, but I need to still look at what I'm doing, so I couldn't just, I don't know, read and knit it, because the repeats are too short. <laughs> so yeah, so that's why, well, that's not the only reason I did not make much progress on that. Oh, and the yarn, of course. The yarn is uh, by CD Spind. Sita, if you're watching, I'm enjoying your yarn a lot. It's a CD Spind and it's 70% uh, BFL, 20% per, uh, silk and 10% cashmere in decay weight. And it's, uh, the colorway is called Winterrosen. Oh, I have to show you that other shawl I have. Just a moment. So, in the last episode, I, uh, I was wondering whether I could uh, match this, um, this hat with... Um, oh, and I'm using 4 millimeter needles, by the way, <laughs> on the short cable. It's 40 centimeters, which I believe is 16 inches. And it's my only set of such short needles, by the way. So I thought whether I could uh, match this hat with uh, a shawl that I knitted 
from uh, also Swiss yarn, but it, that one was by C. de Garte, and it was also um, inspired by uh, winter roses. And you guys, I totally think I can. It's, well, on the camera, the contrast seems a bit uh, larger than in real life, but they are almost the same. This one is a bit more reddish, but you guys, I really think it would be nice to wear this shawl with this hat once I finish it. I think it would be a nice set. And this shawl is a very luxurious blend of 50% merino and 50% silk by C. de Garte. And uh, the, the pattern I used is uh, Ginkgo. It's a Ginkgo shawl. And it's also a free pattern, by the way. It's very pretty. And it was one of my first serious uh, lace projects. Yeah, so I have quite fond memories of it and it's so soft, oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think I could put them together and wear them as a, as a set, which would be cool because as you know, I love purples. So yeah, uh, this is it and my cozy memories blanket. I only made one square this week and you will soon know the reason why but yeah this is my square and I'm so happy with it it's this square uh, is from the yarn that I was showing on the podcast before it's a single ply it doesn't look like it's a single ply, but it is, that I spun from Rolex like this red and 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 where are you and this blue so uh, after um, taking class, um, spinning uh, dyed fibers uh, with Felicia Lowe. I, um, I tried to, to, um, to do something uh, interesting with my fibers. So I just held two Rolex together and spun them into one single. And it created these, because there was some gold in, in it as well. So it created a completely new color. I showed this to my husband and he said he wouldn't guess that you can make such a yarn from this and this. <laughs> so yeah, it was very interesting but extremely time consuming since um, the fiber I used were very fine so they wouldn't allow me to just hold them together and spin together they would break all the time so I had to prepare a bit one Rolex prepare the other Rolex a bit then spin them together and again and again it it took ages but it looks really nice so yay um, I still have a lot of left uh, these are Rolex by Felview Fibers uh, this is Crystal Ice Cave, Merino Baby Llama and Angelina. And this is Fafnir, Fafnir's Heart. And this is just a crazy blend of Merino Baby Llama, Tassa Silk, Mulberry Silk, Bamboo and Angelina. And it has this really deep blood red color, which I love. So yeah, this is my, uh, my new square. And about um, why didn't I work too much on my other projects? Yes, um, you're right. I just I was just naughty and 
passed on a new project and I fell in love with it and I'm right now I'm really obsessed with it and it happened on Friday I mean I cast it on on Friday I was uh, those of you who follow me on Instagram um, might have seen the swatch I made for this project and the project by the way lives in this cute cute tote bag I bought when I was in Japan in Kamakura there was uh, there was just a store with cat accessories I mean for humans but everything was with cats and I thought this was this was really cool and cute so I bought this and this is my project I cast it on on Friday and it already is this big well to be honest, it's a uh, worsted weight yarn, so no wonder it grows fast, but um, but still. <laughs> I mostly worked on this one, and I want to show you. The yarn is my hand-dyed yarn, Romulus, which is a superwash merino worsted and the colorway is willow and I'm in love with this colorway it has this really uh, pale teal like mint shade let's say with some purple and rusty uh, parts mm. And I have a cute little leaf stitch marker. So uh, the pattern, oh, and the needles I'm using are uh, the, th the biggest needles I've used in quite a while because they are five millimeter needles. Oh, what's that in US sizes? Probably something around eight, I presume. So the pattern is uh, Flax by Tinka Knits. And uh, it's a free pattern. Today is like a free pattern episode. <laughs> uh, so um, this is a pattern that they made. It's a part of a co their collection. Uh, they call, uh, called it Simple Collection. And these are um, patterns suitable for beginner knitters. So if you're a newbie, you can um, try this pattern as your first pullover. And I think you will be okay. <laughs> because they really um, try to... It's like for educational purposes. You, you have like all the steps how your project should look like. And also it's extremely versatile because you have sizes from um, newborn to uh, men. I mean, uh, all children sizes, then uh, women sizes and then men sizes. So it's from zero to six months till 4XL. <laughs> And as you can see here in the picture, I can show this to you because it's a free pattern. You can download it on the Ravelry. Uh, all family can wear them. So I thought since I counted, it's, it's my fifth sweater that I'm knitting. Um, I thought that I could, I wanted something simple, but with just a little bit of decoration. And I thought I could use this pattern and just change some details so that I could uh, have some, you know, personal touch. So uh, on the sleeves here, there is, um, there is a garter stitch panel that I exchanged for seed stitch panel. And I'm absolutely happy <laughs> with how uh, this colorway and yarn look like. As a stitch, uh, uh, stitch, <laughs> seed stitch, or moss stitch, if you use uh, British uh, terms, 
in Polish it's called uh, rice stitch actually and for um, for the ribbing oops <laughs> Sorry. so for the ribbing I chose some fake cables and I think it's it's a nice touch even if it, they are not very visible because of the way how yarn look, looks like because it's variegated it's still I like it I'm happy with it and, and yeah my new favorite project so uh, the, uh, the fake cables, I actually, because there is the project that some of you might remember <laughs> I've been making. Okay. Um, and it's my Wolfwood shawl. I'm sorry, I just... After knitting uh, that, the previous shawl, Ashling, that also had an applied border, I, I felt like I'm really full for now and I need a break so I did not work on it but well we will see maybe maybe I will come back to it I'm thinking about giving this shawl to my sister for uh, Christmas so it might be like if I had a deadline or something I would uh, restart working on it but the, the fake cables there uh, I actually borrowed from that shawl so <laughs> It's almost like I'm working on the show. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Mm. This is it for knitting today. Uh, well, about knitting, also I'm, I'm taking another class from Craftsy because I love Craftsy classes. And uh, I stumbled upon a class uh, that is called uh, Knit Faster with Continental Knitting. Since I'm a continental knitter, um, I thought I could just, you know, improve my knitting skills because um, yeah, it would be nice to be able to knit faster. Oh, and it's uh, with uh, Lori Lee Beltman. She's a charming person, really, and she explains everything really methodically. So I recommend this class. Uh, especially if you uh, knit uh, British style, English style, you're a thrower. Um, then she um, she compares a lot um, English style with continental and how you can switch to knit faster. I like this class. Uh, she showed some interesting um, tricks and ways of holding your yarn and your needles and everything. Um, I don't think I will use all of her tips because it seems that it's, it doesn't suit me. Um, but some of them I already um, put into action in my knitting and I, I think I'm getting a bit faster. Maybe it's just an illusion, but still um, it feels comfortable. I'm not done with the class yet, uh, I'm still at chapter 6, but uh, she also shows some... Oh, for example, I realized that I've been doing the yarn over um, the, the wrong way. <laughs> so uh, it's very good if you want to polish um, your knitting skills. And she shows all the increases and decreases. Uh, really uh, really well so I can recommend this class and as I said especially if you want to switch from English knitting to continental so this is my knitting and as for spinning you probably saw this uh, yeah I'm still working on the porpoise fur um, Shetland in Delta colorway and I'm uh, past the turquoise and I'm spinning the yellow part and since I took the uh, class uh, I mentioned uh, um, spinning dyed fibers with Felicia Lowe I can um, I can be more 
like aware of the possibilities that I have to manage the colors while spinning and it's very cool I'm I'm putting that into use and it's exciting and well I'm slowly getting there I'm planning for this to be Navajo applied and um, yeah uh, <laughs> spinning that short <laughs> and dying so I have a new colorway again for you guys and uh, as I said um, this colorway is my uh, colorway for this season because uh, All Saints Day uh, is uh, sounds much more natural for me for this moment of the year than Halloween because I I never had any any fun on Halloween because uh, in my time it was really not um, known popular. It's getting more popular these days but I don't uh, have any like childhood memories with Halloween but I most certainly do with All Saints Day. But well why can't I have fun now? So I thought about some Halloweenish uh, colorway and this is it. Uh, I call this um, pump, Pumpkin Patch Night. And I can show this to you closer. Can I? Yes. So it's basically uh, orange with gray uh, that has orange uh, shining through it because I did it in layers. So first first the the orange and afterwards I saved some orange and I overlaid the the rest with with this gray and I think these look awesome together I just I just put them next to each other on on the desk and I thought they look great together really <laughs> And this base is again my uh, Lacos fingering, which is 100% Superwash BFL in fingering weight, of course. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, this is it for my crafty life this week. I will mention some things about my shop now, so if you're not interested, you can uh, finish watching now. Uh, or skip to the next segment where I just chat about my um, non-crafty life. So uh, I will probably put this into the shop today, hopefully. And I wanted to mention that I have these three lovely skeins. It's Lycos uh, DK. Again, 100% Superwash BFL and it's All Saints Day again. <laughs> because it's so close. November the 1st is close. And what else? For example, this is this is a um, base that I don't use very often. It's because it's non-superwash merino in DK weight. It's called Rhea. And the colorway is... Um, Juniper smoke. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, and it's more or less a uh, solid or to I would say tonal yarn. And I have a whole bunch of these. This is Corona Borealis col colorway on my dew base, which is uh, baby alpaca with silk, very soft. And what's interesting about it. Uh, I have a sweater quantity. I have 600 grams, meaning six skeins available. So if you're interested, they're available in the shop. I also have the same base. I have Momotaro. I have two left. I have more, but I don't anymore. <laughs> From worsted weight, meaning my Romulus base, I have Silver Towers and Vodnik. And some others, like if you like uh, muted grays, I have 
uh, olive tree on moon base and I have sakura on moon as well and on Belladonna which is marina nail and cashmere I have willow which is the same colorway I'm using for my sweater and I also have rosalka which is uh, much more, uh, much brighter than on my other bases because, yeah, because of the contents of the fiber, they die differently. And oh, yeah, I have silver tower on my Howl base, which is also Marina Silk Blend. Ooh, I have one Barbara on Howl as well. And some others. It's just, yeah. <laughs> oh, what I wanted to show you is also this one. It's the emerald green uh, Toadstool's Fantasy. It's on, on my DK base, 100% Superwash BFL. And that's mostly it. <laughs> there is some more, but uh, yeah, you can see it for yourself if you're interested. Mm. Other than that, um, I can start talking about my um, other life. <laughs> other life. Well, just uh, life not connecting, not connected to crafting. So uh, some time ago, I start, restarted uh, practicing yoga because, yeah, I feel like I need some exercise and some stretching uh, in my body so I found a really nice YouTube course and I do it at home um, so first uh, and it's called yoga with Adrienne and I like it a lot if you're searching for something like that I recommend it um, first I, I did a couple of days of um, introduction <laughs> to yoga because I haven't done yoga in quite a while and now I'm during the 30 days of yoga challenge and I'm on day four I mean today will be day five yesterday I skipped my exercise because I was away so uh, I did not really have the possibility to do that but we will see whether I will uh, go through with it I, I would really love to because I feel it's it's good for me so yes I'm yogging and other than that uh, so yesterday we made uh, we met with our friend Tom and he's been on holidays in Greece just recently so I asked him uh, to bring me some uh, olive oil soap because to be honest I have never uh, used olive oil soap that would be as good as the one that I bought in Greece. So, he did! <laughs> I got some soap! And it's, yes, and I also asked him for it to be just natural um, olive oil uh, soap without any added uh, fragrance. Yay! Because Frankly, I'm in love with the natural um, olive oil smell on soap. My mom hates it, but I'm totally like... Mm. <laughs> and I will have a sip of tea. Oh, in my Totoro uh, teacup that I brought from Japan as well. I love it, love it. And the tea I'm drinking is uh, Gyokuro and yeah, I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, so I got the soap, but um, the main reason we met was that we went on a small uh, hike trip because we live in Switzerland, so there are so many beautiful places and right now we have beautiful autumn leaves um, in, well, full, b not bloom, but in full color. So, um, 
we decided to take our son and we found a nice route suitable for uh, strollers. So we went there. I mean, uh, we had to drive for around an hour and then there was a cable car taking you up and up <laughs> there. <laughs> the mountain is called Hoch Ibrik. We just did a kind of a, a circle around the top and then came back home. It was very pretty, the leaves were wonderful. The only minus thing was that uh, it started to rain on our way back and we were, yeah, pretty wet. Uh, but nonetheless, we enjoyed the trip. Stasia was safely um, closed in the, because we did not take our regular, a regular stroller. Uh, we took um, the trailer that my husband uses to um, when when he is riding a bike he attaches the trailer to the bike it's very popular uh, way of traveling with kids uh, in Switzerland so the trailer is closed so he was like in his own uh, small vehicle and it was good for the hiking route because the wheels are very big so he was luckily safe and he was very happy because there was uh, some patches of snow up there. So he was like, look, daddy, snow and another snow. <laughs> so he was having fun. We were having fun. So mm, I don't hike too much. So I don't actually have hiking um, wardrobe, let's say. But I put a lot of wool on me. So I had my... Uh, woolen sweater, I had woolen socks, which were a uh, great idea, uh, really. I had my alpaca mittens, <laughs> so I was pretty good, except for the rain, and the rain was not really fun. But I had a thermos with tea, so we had some tea before we got uh, to our uh, cable car on our way back so yeah it was it was awesome and it would be great if we could um, do such trips more often but yeah that's the end of the season most of the uh, cable cars work till the end of October so hmm. <laughs> yeah so uh, this is it for today I hope you enjoyed uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, where is my kitty? Here. Uh, and we will see you next time. Happy knitting. Bye. Ow. <laughs>